like that first EP, considering no one knew I'd done music before, like went way over 100,000 streams collectively. For me, from day one, and what I always said to even my mum, um, was that my if I keep putting out good music and I keep doing things at a good standard, if I keep posting videos and singing well and like doing mad things, it's hard for people to ignore. I just feel, I just feel like if you do enough things right, then you can get to where you want to be. You know what I mean? You just keep putting in the hard work. It's kind of like because people say, "Oh, you got your lucky break," or "This is that was lucky that so and so saw you on TikTok." But I'm just like, luck is more where hard work meets, you know, opportunity. What's going on, people? Welcome, welcome, welcome to the South May Podcast. I'm Fidel Sibu. And I'll go by the name of Sam Enlove. And today we have a very special guest up and, well, Portsmouth's very own up and coming artist, Deeps. I think he deserves a round of applause. <laughs> Can't give up. <laughs> I was actually about to sing this. <laughs> <You're lucky. laughs> do but um, no, no, thanks for, for, for coming and joining with us um, today, Deeps. It's a nice and sunny day. Um, for those out there that don't know you, are you able to sort of tell us about who you are, um, sort of your upbringing and so forth and what actually, um, yeah, just a little bit more about your, yourself actually. What was it you want to know? So, um, I want to know why you got yourself into like music. Music? To begin with, yeah. Me? Yeah. Um, basically it's my family, my granddad specifically. Yeah. Um, since I was about three years old, genuinely, that young. Yeah. I was in his home studio recording songs like um, Reach for the Stars. <laughs> oh shit, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was literally since I was about three years old and then I just carried on doing songs in his um in his home studio, but I found a love for it and I was just like it wasn't like a hobby. I was just like in there all the time. Yeah. So I just carried on doing that and then I picked up um piano about age seven. Um and then you kind of fall in and out of music as you do anything in life, you know what yeah. I mean? When you're just like, oh, this is a bit like chory or this is a bit too much. So then, I don't know, maybe age 10 or something, I stopped playing piano. I sort of went about my life doing other things, football and whatnot. Um, and then, yeah, I just found love for it again and then never stopped. Started making my own music about age 14, 15 um, on my piano at home, my little keyboard that I still make music on now. Um, wow. And yeah, dropped my first EP, age 18, um, and looked back since. Yeah, so when it's did incredible. you like start like taking it seriously? When did things like start getting serious for you? Serious? Yeah. Um, mm. I'd say s uh, 16, 17. Yeah. It was kind of going into college. Um, I was making my own music at that point on the piano and things, and I was getting invited to, into different studio rooms to get them recorded. Um, and at that point, I was just like, yeah, we'll give it a crack. And I put together five songs. I put them out when I was 18. I just sort of um, bit the bullet and just put them out. Right. Um, and that was it, personal. That's pretty cool. Um, before you pulled them out, did you sort of reach out to anyone to, to hear no, any, I, any that's feedback? That's the last <laughs> thing I did because I was just like, if I get too many opinions, then it's just mm. going to cloud my judgment. I was 100%. just like, I'll just do it. And then see how it goes. And obviously, and what's the support been like? Because obviously, not everyone. Crazy, yeah, yeah, crazy. In in the city, especially like Portsmouth, it was crazy. Yeah, like, man. That first EP, considering no one knew I'd done music before, like went way over a hundred thousand streams collectively. Like so. Nah, that's yeah. wow. big that's up crazy, to you. Yeah. Nah, that's that's um, mad. Yeah. That's actually big, and that's actually quite a, a good point you alluded to. I feel as if in, in Portsmouth there hasn't been any like huge music musical yeah. or musicians that have yeah. come out of the city but there's a lot of people in the scene now which yeah. is good because um but yeah. what, what, why do you think that ha that has been like that or is it just the inspiration in Portsmouth is not there I or? don't know maybe it's just people think that you have to be in London to do things but like music over the last few years specifically mm. has become way mm. more accessible um I was lucky enough to find an engineer amazing guy I've worked with for years Jojo in Southampton um, and we've been working together for literally since I put that first EP out. Yeah. Um, and yeah, that was a blessing in disguise because otherwise, like, I would have thought I'd have to go to London or do something in that okay. area or Manchester or something. But no, recently it's become a lot more accessible to do things in like cities like Portsmouth, Southampton, and anywhere really. Anyone can be a musician as long as you've got 
a laptop or you yeah. don't even need a laptop you know what i mean just, gotta get just need a there. voice yeah. yeah that's true or because of like the power of social media exactly that's oh, it that's um, it you can you can you can be on tiktok on instagram yeah. or anything you can be putting just ideas out into the you know what I mean? And to be fair, you're fairly quite big on TikTok now as well. Like, yeah, do you know oh, what I mean, mean, I could be a hell of a lot bigger. Yeah, but, yeah. but still, do you know what I mean? That's quite a good platform. A lot to, of opportunities like, sell. Come from there. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. And I think your attitude as well, like in terms of like your motivation, like not caring about what people think and just putting yourself yeah. out there. Obviously, really you got to care to an extent. Yeah, because of course. Yeah. You got you got to listen to what people want and what yeah. people think. And like, but the thing is, you just got to appreciate the people who listen to your music, people who come to your shows. Um, mm. the people who just support you, people who like you post, share, you post, whatever, like yeah. you just gotta have appreciation for them. But in terms of opinions, like take on any constructive criticism um, mm. and potentially change what you're doing. But yeah. if you really believe in your heart that that's what you wanna do, then yeah. 100% yeah. that's what you gotta go for. No, that's nice. But um, you sort of touched upon it with your granddad and so forth. So he was obviously your inspiration. Yeah. He talked about, but what made you sort of choose your um, your genre, shall I say? Like, what led you to that? Was it that's like interest, anyone else or? in music, man? It's just what you listen to, like what you grow up around. Um, I was listening to people like um, John Legend, uh, Ed oh. Sheeran. Yeah. I mean, I've been a Bieber fan for like years. <laughs> I swear, <laughs> that. <laughs> but like, Bieber. <laughs> <laughs> genuinely. <laughs> genuinely. <laughs> But um, no, like people like John Legend, especially when you got a piano at home, like it's just inspiring. Mm. And then to just go home, play all of me, play ordinary people or something on the piano and then just try and write your own. And that's it. That's when I sort of knew I had a bit of a knack for songwriting because yeah. I was just playing similar chords, trying to make a different song. And it works. So, so in a way mm, you'd say it was, cool. it's destined for you, do you know what I mean? For you to do this. Yeah, sort of thing, to an yeah. extent. I mean, there's a lot of people that might find songwriting hard or might yeah. find just the performing of their songs hard, but practice makes perfect. Yeah. I think. So you can literally just practice, practice. I'm sure Ed Sheeran um, didn't know how to sing or didn't yeah. sing very well, but he just practiced. So. Yeah, no, that's, that's pretty cool. In regards to sort of songwriting, this is something I've always want, like thought what, is that like another path if a musician doesn't really become successful or is like what happens yeah. there? Because yeah, yeah, yeah. I had um, a friend that I went to uni with, I saw that his, like uh, through social media again, he posted his story um, of his cousin and he was his song was featured on Drake's new album. I was like, wow, that's mad. Like um, how did that come about? How did Drake even know about him? He's from London. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. what, like the, the world of songwriters, like what was that about? Yeah, it's all within the industry, to be honest with you. I'm learning more and more about it as I'm getting into the right circles. But um, songwriting is definitely something that I'm trying to pursue about. alongside oh, okay. the artist stuff as well. Um, it's a lot about just getting into the rooms with like amazing producers, amazing writers, and like collaborating on some stuff and just pitching them to A&Rs who then pitch them to the artists. Sorry. Well, and then digging deep, sorry, but, but digging deep into songwriting, like, where does that inspiration come from? Do you just walk around on the street and be like, yeah. oh, I felt something. It can come from anything. Any, like, so oh, okay. for me, it can either come from personal experience, personal ways that I've felt, personal things that are specific to me. But also I have quite like um, an imaginative mind as well. So like I can put myself into someone else's situation or just okay. make up a scenario even in my head just like oh how would i feel if yeah. this happened to me or and then write a song about that so it, okay. all of my songs don't have to be specific the, to oh, how okay. i feel oh. they can they I'm can be saying. about things that i just feel like oh yeah. imagine if i was in that situation yeah okay so and you then can like you can, about you can feel the type yeah. of way like that's just by a situation yeah. that doesn't yeah. actually happen that's to cool because i never yeah. looked at it from that way before no, i'm still young so i wouldn't have gone through absolutely everything like already you know but like it's not to say that I can't have an opinion yeah. on how it might feel. And the thing is, you've yeah. got a lot of emotional music as well. So That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. I mean, People must be like, <laughs> deep Who this guy yeah. yeah. you know what I mean? <laughs> exactly. And like, exactly what you said there, like, a lot of people attach your music to yourself because yeah. they're like, Drake had that sort of label for time. Yeah. Like, he's soft because yeah. of the music that he's produced. Okay, but that's that's very interesting to hear it from. A lot of people think it's specifically about one person. Yeah. Yeah. Which is so <laughs> jarring. Nah, yeah. yeah. It's not. Like, it's not. Nah, that's no. crazy though. Yeah. Or is it? Yeah, bro. No, or is it? <laughs> that's, that's very interesting. And um, another thing that struck out when you were speaking, you obviously talked, mentioned about your granddad, but in terms of like your overall family, um, like how was it sort of saying that I want to be a musician? Yeah, man, you know? it was mad. Yeah, um, my immediate family, my brothers, my mum, 
really supportive. Like, yeah. oh, wow. Really sport. That's nice. Even to this day, really sport. Well, that's good then. Uh, yeah, good. Ma- yeah, that's good, man. Yeah. Good, man. <laughs> I had other family, and obviously grandparents, like, but I'm fortunate, like, just because my granddad is a musician yeah. as well. Do you think that's what really paved the way? Oh, so can. it is kind of like, you know that it can, um, you can be a musician. You can do it, yeah. He's fully supportive of everything I want to do, because obviously opportunities these days are, they're way bigger than opportunities that back in, the day. back in his day. So, like, he sees that as well. And, he just supported me and like, I can't thank him enough for that. But then I have, I did have other family members when I was pitching it, like uncles and things. That like, oh, well, mm. they're a bit like, oh, um, they'll be like, oh, like, yeah. They don't do you want know? You do you know how slim path. the chances are yeah, and, and things like that? And yeah. But if you know what it's what you want to do, in life, I knew that there was never going to be another job for me other than music. But I wouldn't have been happy doing something else. Something else. Yeah. No, that's Some people do find yeah. out, but that's them. And yeah, it's for not me, you. it was music. And, have to be doing something in music otherwise you're spending like how long of your life like working or doing yeah. something and i just want it to be what i that's am passion. passionate about yeah, yeah. No, and that's why i didn't go to university i went straight into straight into music just creating my own catalog of music portfolio building it up studying other artists studying seeing what they're doing reaching out to people going on social media a lot of it's, and when you combine all of them things, you like you give yourself a really good chance. And I just thought that maybe going to university could have given me some like cool connections and cool insight. And like obviously, you're always surrounded by musicians as well, which is amazing at college. Um, but I just found that I would have been wasting a, a lot of time just doing this or doing oh, okay. something else yeah. where I could have been like just out in the field. And it's time consuming. Yeah, it's time consuming as well. Yeah. Like university and stuff. Yeah, yeah but you'll be. know first hand. Exactly. Like, you know, you're in uni, you're studying. Yeah. You know how much time it takes up. So. Yeah, man, definitely. We'll and if you, kn- if you already knew that there was some kind of path to get to where you wanted to be and you didn't have to go through all of that, like, I mean, sometimes you do just have to go to university yeah. like, to get to where you want to be. And that's absolutely understandable. And actually, there's a lot of experiences in university that I would have liked to, you know what I mean, experience. I mean, I didn't ever get to go through even like the club inside of the university. I stayed with a few of my mates and knees and whatnot. <laughs> yeah. Just bumped with them for like a few days, but like that was more just than to enough. <laughs> at least you experienced it. But um, in terms of, um, for me, musical standpoint, so in different trades, you've obviously can train to get to the next level. You obviously in fighting, you know what it takes to, to get to the next level. But for music, how do you train yourself to get to the next level? Or is there so, like a ceiling that you reach? Yeah, it's it's not really ceilings as such, but like you don't actually know the path. If there was a clear path to get from A to B and B being like the top of music, A being the very start, like everyone would do it. And it'd be so easy to follow. Okay. Um, but it's a bit more difficult because you don't really, it's kind of a closed industry music sometimes. Um, so it was just, for me, it was uploading something on social media, someone seeing it, and then sort of inviting me into that inner circle of the music industry. Okay. Um, and then you're kind of in, and then it's like time to carry on putting in the work. Like, so you hard work, hard work, hard work, a video gets seen, then you're in the inner circle, and then it's not like, oh, you chill now, because they'll just chuck you back out again. So it's like, you're in, let's just put some more work in. No. Um, and begin that next phase of your career. So that's that's kind of oh. what it is. For so it me sounds anyway. like you got to put some like serious graft in. Do you know what yeah. I mean? And it's more there's always been so many avenues, bro. Yeah. Like, I feel like these days it's more social media, but it's all in the past you've had it like, oh, I can audition for like an X Factor yeah. or some talent show. Mm. Or this something. is the thing though, it could lead to something else. So like, yeah. like you're singing right now, it could, you never know, down the line it could lead to you doing like an acting yeah whatever. yeah you yeah you know what I mean Hopefully, like yeah, 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 yeah something like that you never know where it could take you and it could take you to bigger and better things do you know what I mean like, no, it's one of those things but then on the flip side uh, this is leading to my question is there is always that uncertainty that you're, you're talking about like you don't know that you have to do this to get to there to this like it's sort of like timing and so forth so what is really keeping you focused and like like even though you, you probably have come across like you've obviously performed in front of people and stuff and you might not have had the crowds that you'd want, right? Yeah. How, what's keeping you motivated to keep going without seeing the results immediately? So for me from day one, and what I always said to even my mum was that my if I keep putting out good music and I keep doing things at a good standard, if I keep posting videos, singing well and like, doing mad things mm. 
it's hard for people to ignore. And okay. like, I just, f I just feel like if you do enough things right, then you can get to where you want to be. You, you know be. what I mean? You just okay. keep putting in like the consistency. hard work. Consistency. Yeah. It's kind of like, because people say, "Oh, you got your lucky break," or "This is that was lucky that so and so saw you mm -hmm. on TikTok." But I'm just like, luck is more where hard work meets me 100 okay. percent. you create your own luck yes, you create no. your own exactly luck. so Definitely. it's just like i just carried on trying to perfect my craft and i say trying to because no one has perfected their craft yeah you know I mean? like, so mm. it's still in the process but mm. um you just got to put out good videos good music put on good shows um and then you're on the right track no, that there's always going to be wrong. people in rooms like no matter if there's 10 people in a crowd yeah and someone's performing like yeah. one of them 10 people might be someone that will lead you on to better things 100%. So. that's crazy now very very inspiring words right just to go off of what sam said have you ever become like um is anything like ever demotivated you do you know what i mean have you ever obviously we all have our bad days and that mm. and obviously sometimes sometimes like really big success the calm down of really big success yeah and i've seen it happen in close friends in and around me that have done really well and it's like the calm the calm down from something so like a video goes off or like yeah. a song goes off naturally you have sort of like an expectation and it's happened say um once or twice so my first um uh, ep that I put out um just like in 2018 like did insanely well yeah just, and like I then i, I was, it, then yeah. i just mm. thought oh this is kind of oh that's the standard yeah. now. Yeah. so then you put out like your next songs and they do well but they don't do as, as well. well as and you like expect, you can kind of think like, oh, okay. oh yeah. i'm not falling off or nothing yeah. it's just getting started but it's kind of things like that but what i've learned to do is never look at numbers never look at this and that because actually when you look at numbers whether it's like a few hundred people, a few thousand people, a few hundred thousand people that are paying attention to you, listening to a song or whatever. There's still people there really appreciating what you're doing. Yeah. Like, that's what you do it for. You do it for yeah. other people. And a lot of songs that I write these days, I kind of write for people to put words to scenarios that maybe okay. they can't put words to themselves. So it's kind of like that shoulder to lean on, like when you're listening wow. to the song. It's deep. That's yeah, quite literally. yeah I was like, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. But that's, that's so that's so powerful what no, you what, what you're what saying you said because it leads to like, music is so powerful to changing people's lives Definitely. and like it can it's save bad. lives, like you said, and it's just such a profound yeah. thing that you touched upon. But yeah, no, that's that's head. amazing. Yeah. Uh, honestly, that's actually no, that's, that's really good. Very crazy, flipping out. And that's kind of why I had a little bit of a change in style of music, not like a full on change. I mean, yeah. Mm. But um. It was ever since I put out the song Move On. Um, I was a bit uh, hesitant to put it out just because it was like ballad and it was like really slow yeah. and it was like kind of really vulnerable to an extent. Okay. Mm. So I didn't want, and I, I think the song before Move On was clap. So yeah. the difference in just style, everything yeah. was just completely different. Completely shift. Okay. But the response then that I had for Move On was crazy. And it was more or less because people were in the situation. Okay. I had so many messages like from people, even to this day, I get messages from people saying that they're in a situation. And move that's, On helped them out so much because- That's, that's crazy. That's what like, you do it for, isn't it? Yeah. Exactly. No, and that's, that's the purpose. Like yeah. when you say, oh, what's your purpose? What motivates you? It's mm. that. That is your purpose yeah. because that's you're just there put words to people's feelings crazy bro yeah um, that's levels and yeah and a lot of the music i put out now i just think a lot more and it's all just um it's a journey yeah, yeah. Man. with each song i put out i learn something new yeah and then you just build upon that but going back to the start but alluding to what you're saying because you're talking about deep and meaningful songs so what's really um i'm trying to find out is what is actually the meaning behind deeps is it because of the deep and emotional songs that you put out or no. did it arrive from my birth name? Your birth name? Oh, okay. <laughs> no, okay. Sandeep, okay. Sandeep is my birth name. Oh, yeah. sorry. Oh, oh, so you took the last bit of, no, <laughs> no, that's, that's incredible. <laughs> to be fair though, I mean, it's a good thing because a lot of people think like, yeah, bro, it's useless. Like, <laughs> <laughs> bro, I'm being, I'm being serious because 
I want to because you don't know how people come up with the names. Some of there's <laughs> some just weird. Being an idiot. Yeah, but legit. a lot of people. Nah. No, no. Oh, does it? I don't. I but do that. that <laughs> no, no. Thankfully, I do I, that. <laughs> the thing is, I actually sort of knew it in my head, but I don't. Oh, those yeah. that are listening, I'm, what is of wrong course with you me? did. <laughs> of course you do. No, 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 but, no but, for, but for real, but for real, but for real. <laughs> 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 there could have been a more serious meaning behind that. But anyway, switching <laughs> it up. Oh, switching no. it up. Um, musicians. Deep, no. said, what is by <laughs> Deeps? What's his name? <laughs> I know. What. Anyway, switching it up. Um, current musicians at the moment, like who is really, um, like who's inspiring you at the moment? Who are you looking up to? Who's Ooh, your favorite right artist? Right now. Yeah. Um, um, there's a lot of people. I, I really rate... Um, Upcoming artists. I love Jeremy Zucker at the moment. Jeremy Zucker. I I, I, I yeah. don't like to yeah. 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 Great artist. Um, I just went to watch a show, Laney. A show, Laney. I'm just naming people that yeah. I <clears throat> I listen to at the moment that nah, maybe aren't so generic because obviously I still listen to Bieber and things like that. Yeah. Because yeah. like longevity wise, you've got to study what people like Bieber are doing. Yeah. They've been around for yonks. And yeah. yeah, they're industry plants and blah, 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 blah. But it takes a lot to stay relevant because you've seen people that have had their fame and fall off. Or, But if you stay at the top for a, a very long time, then you kind of... Yeah. He's got some fo- sort of blueprint for artists yeah. that need to try and... It's fascinating. Don't you think how people like that no, just stay on top of the game yeah. for so long? Like, yeah. You see people like Justin mm. Bieber and... You just think to yourself, how has he managed no, to stay yeah. relevant for that long? Yeah, you know especially I mean? in the music in- industry where there's always so many one song, well, one hit wonders yeah, and stuff. You know? yeah, yeah, And it's so critical. Like yeah. people, like people will like you for a phase and then be like, no. But yeah. people like Drake, Justin Bieber, and that to keep it at that level. But um, what it. what do you actually think is the secret behind that? Consistency, um, and putting out good art. Yeah. as well like it's consi- it's just all consistency because i mm. feel like people say one hit wonders and things like that they might put out a song that's maybe either beyond their ability or surpasses what they're capable of but a lot of the time it can also be they might put out a song that's a specific genre a specific like type of style mm. that isn't kind of what they do normally anyway so people will listen to that song a bit it's um, and be like, oh, this is a vibe, yeah. and then go to listen to some of the other stuff, and it, it just won't correlate. Okay. So, um, I think it's just consistency. When you said about um, who do I listen to? I listen to ev- everyone, oh, everything, everyone. Like that's amazing. I just like music um, in, general. in general. There's mm-hmm. not a genre. I used to say, oh, I don't really listen to metal or yeah. anything like that. But oh, but you will actually. Yeah. I will listen to, listen to anything yeah. now. Because no, so, yeah. yeah. normal people, when you ask them, what do you actually listen to? Um, everyone says everything. Yeah. And you're like, well, the mad, <laughs> the mad thing is, what does that mean? You mad don't. Thing as but well, do, you, just but, sound, do you listen to everything though? No, I actually generally do. You can well, put so my phone on shuffle and you were. So you listen to heavy metal on that? No, no, no. Apart from like. <laughs> so the, no, 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 no. There's some specific <laughs> genres that you can't listen to everything, but I, I'm <laughs> very diverse. Like, no, that's I'm pretty And I've got my favourite. Well. Like, yeah. if you can shuffle my. But yeah, if I ask you, do you listen to heavy metal? He probably isn't. He's an artist. Yeah, to an extent. I listen to some heavy metal songs. Okay, fair enough. It's just like. Yeah. But I listen to a lot of Machine Gun Kelly at the moment. Oh, he's yeah, like yeah. punk rock. Yeah. yeah. I used to be like he used to release quite a lot of rap rap music as well. Yeah, though. he used to release rap, yeah. but now he's like punk rock. But um, that's, yeah. that for me is just because of the nostalgia of when I was growing up listening to Busted and yeah. you know, all them types of bands. No, nah, I know yeah. what you mean, but and his music his music yeah. timeless because music is timeless. I always yeah. feel like new artists It's timeless to people. So yeah. like, if someone listened to my song and they were going through something when they listened to it, good or bad, if you were about to get married or something i put out a song and then through that like them few days like you celebrating and whatnot my song's in your head or whatever like that will live with you forever yeah or if you're going through a bad time a bad mm. breakup or something you're listening to my song or it, or it helps you or doesn't it help doesn't you. help you <laughs> some people listen it lives with you know what I mean? yeah, no, no no it does so, <laughs> and it touches you songs are like, timeless like <laughs> you don't know things that are bad for you but you listen to it anyway yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it touches you yeah. so <laughs> songs are timeless it doesn't really no one knows when they're gonna put a timeless song out mm. I think good a good indication of a timeless song is something that's not like um trendy so there yeah. was a time where a lot of people were just doing play on words in like the rap scene um 
it's kind of like when like Addison Lee and Barkin and things like that were coming yeah. out. Yeah. And everyone was just trying to find like the that next banger or yeah. something. Like, I don't know, like Master yeah. Phone or something. Yeah. <laughs> and like no. that was a weird phase because people were just trying to get just a trendy song to just yeah. like, okay. pop. And some people did like Barkin and Addison Lee and like they'll be timeless to a lot of people. Like, yeah. I'm glad that back on track oh yeah, yeah but nah, I hear you. and then the sort of similar to that point that you would hear new songs but a remake of old songs so is that like very yeah typical? i mean that, there you go that's timeless again yeah for the old song it's timeless yeah and then for the new song it's just like a new variation okay. of that I, I don't think there's many albums you'll hear in rap music today that won't have a single sample in. okay nice. and that's just rap music specifically but like it can be any genre yeah. And just to quickly touch upon, what would you say is next in your career for you at the moment? Yeah, wow. well, I'm hoping that 2022, from the way that everything looks, it's yeah. going crazy. Yeah. Yes. I'm in amazing circles with amazing writers, amazing producers. Hopefully some um, more shows as well. Yes. Yeah. Yes, some more shows. Yeah. We finally got back into doing shows again. Just had the first one in the guild. Yeah, man, I went to watch you. It was very, very good, bro. Honestly, your levels, levels. So, yeah, we're just trying to scale everything, to be honest with you. Um, And it's new music this month, October. And I'm going to just try and stay as consistent because I've been letting, not myself down, but um, a lot of people have been wanting music from me. And I haven't really been giving it just because of, like, amazing things that are happening in my life. Yeah but they're kind of time consuming as well so i've wanted to just wait until i had a moment to just focus solely on just putting out some music and finally i'm in that space now where i can start rolling out some songs that's and good, no perfect that's no that's some good momentum going for the new year yeah that's no, good and then just lastly um sort of any inspiration sort of up and coming artist yeah man, you're obviously on your journey what you said is so powerful i feel like um you could inspire those that are coming up yeah, yeah. so I was actually talking to Fads just before we jumped on the podcast that I do so I put so much thought into everything, but it's not anything that I do specifically. It's just off my own back. So for the show, for example, I was studying, I was watching Bieber's show. I was watching all these other shows like John Legend shows. I was watching so and so. So when John Legend sits at a piano, what does he do? stage mm. presence wise what does he do here there and everywhere what does bb do when he's got a song that's kind of like mid-tempo how does he get a crowd going how do people enter the stage how do people exit the stage between songs what are they saying stuff like that so just like putting in some solid research into all of that and also what i think when you're songwriting just listen to lots of music just listen to any type of music because my music only sounds the way that it does because it's influenced by so many different genres. Like in my music specifically, you'll hear 808 basses, yeah. which is like rap bass, um, but in like a piano ballad because yeah. I'm influenced by hip hop. I'm influenced by um, singer songwriters. I'm influenced by them all. So just go with whatever you feel. Wow. speaks to you and put that in your own music and just be authentic just speak your own truth give your own message and hustle no, that's, that's it you that's good. It. You heard it here yeah <laughs> <laughs> like literally no, no, very very deep from deeps yeah. <laughs> stop trying that <laughs> but no no honestly You're trying to get me a slogan <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> but no honestly um it's been a pleasure it's been thank you for having um, me guys I appreciate absolute you pleasure i appreciate it and um, yeah we will definitely be following your journey quickly how do we follow you instagram Instagram is deeps in my feels, all one. Um, and so same on TikTok as well. Perfect. And you wow. guys do not forget to like, subscribe, comment, all of that. Thank you. This is, we have been self-made. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs>